Hi friends, welcome to my channel and professor. This video is a continuation of my previous video on bivariate analysis. This video is about the demo on how to do a bivariate analysis. If you haven't watched my video on bivariate analysis, I recommend you to watch that first. I've given the link in the description. Come on, let's get started with the demo. The first thing is we'll activate our virtual environment followed by initiating Jupyter Notebook. Once the Jupyter Notebook is initialized, then we'll import all the required libraries. So we'll import Seaborn, Matplotlib and NumPy. Followed by configurations on Seaborn styles. Like I mentioned in the previous video, bivariate analysis can be done in three ways. One is numerical to numerical, numerical to categorical variables and categorical to category variables. First we'll see what is numerical to numerical variable comparison. So for this uh, I'll load the iris dataset. Iris dataset contains uh, most of the numerical data attributes. So it's easy for us to compare the variables. To compare the numerical variables we'll use scatter plot. Scatter plot is uh, a basic plot to compare the any numerical variable. It provides us a clear view of the relationship between two variables in an x and y plot. So I'm going to use a scatter plot with uh, x as a variable of sepal length and y as sepal width. So these two variables are a numerical variable. So when we plot this, we can see that uh, the arrangement of data in x and y axis. So uh, to make a to make the plot better visible, we'll use hue as a, a distinguishable character here. So that gives us the, the color of each and every species so that the data will be more visible. So when we uh, compare the other two variables as petal length and petal width, so we can see the data relationship here. So it seems to be a linear relationship than the sepal length and sepal width. Now let's see the second way of uh, comparing the two variables, categorical to categorical variables. So for this I'll import uh, tips dataset. Tips dataset contains more categorical uh, data attributes than the numerical attribute. For this comparison, I'm going to use catplot. Catplot defines uh, catplot means categorical plot. So here I'm going to provide uh, x as a gender and y as a tip. For any categorical plot, uh, we need the uh, y as a numerical data because that gives a uh, estimation of how many frequencies are there in the category. So here uh, we've given hue as a smoker. Smoker is another categorical variable, and we can also add column. So to distinguish the two different, we can also add a column as one other attribute. So here we use time. So time tells us at what time and uh, how many smokers and, uh, and their gender based data. And uh, one of the attribute of uh, cat plot is we can change the kind of plot. We can use a point plot or a strip plot or a spam type. So this gives us a view of uh, data distribution and also a box plot. Box kind uh, tells us the five point summary of the data. And finally we'll see uh, the categorical to numerical comparison. For this I'm going to use a pair plot. Pair plot is also known as the one shot view plot. Whereas it gives the comparison of all the data attributes within the data set. For pair plot, uh, all we need to do is pass the data set and uh, we can have various parameters to keep pass on like a diagonal uh, kind which gives us the histogram view or a KDE view. So here I've passed uh, iris data set. 
So this compares all the numerical data against each other. And the category are applied on the hue which gives us the distinguishable characteristics of the data. And when we change the diagonal kind to hist, we can see the distribution of the data in a histogram. That's all about this video. I hope you like this video. Please click like button and share the video to your friends and post your comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.